praise God, hallelujah, glory, praise, 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 thank you Jesus, it's going to be a wonderful day, and I believe everyone that will come will have a very deep connection and understanding of whom God is, so I welcome you in, into, to the presence, into the presence of God, into the presence of your, of your Father, Almighty God. Amen. Okay, praise God. There is this song that is on my heart, and I want to believe this song will go for a lot of people on this mountain today. When Jesus says yes, because Jesus will say yes to a lot of people here today. And as my Jesus says yes to quite a number of us today, no power will be able to to make it known hallelujah no power will be able to make it known so get set to meet with the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah when jesus says yes somebody Nobody can say no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nobody can say no. Nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Believe it or not, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Nobody can say no. I see Jesus saying yes to you and me today. Nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Hallelujah. Nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, hallelujah, nobody can say no. Woman of God, call me. Oh, God bless you. God honor you. I soak your comment. I soak anything, everything God will be doing in you, through you, on this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm saying, Holy Spirit, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus, of anything, everything you're going to do on this mountain, may the power of God, glory of God, mercy of God, Take preeminence, take control in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that will be joining the apostles today on this holy mountain, kindly remember to share. Okay, just go ahead to share the broadcast so that someone out there meets with God at another level of understanding. Okay, praise God. Nobody can say no when Jesus says yes. Nobody can say no. Somebody say, Jesus will tell me yes. Jesus will say yes to me today. Jesus is saying yes. Somebody can you affirm that? Nobody can say no. When my Jesus approves me, nobody can say no. When my Jesus approves you, nobody can say no. When Jesus approves you, nobody can say no. When Jesus is on your side, nobody can say no. Hallelujah, oh, nobody can say no. Somebody, nobody, nobody, nobody. Yeah, yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody. Hebra Lemosikaba, nobody, nobody, nobody. I am saying in simple terms, nobody can say no. Nagaya dalagaba, zagaba de katali. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Yes, I do not. Nobody, nobody, nobody. When he says yes, nobody can say no. Alleluia, keli gala dayalaba. Nobody can say no. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody, nobody, nobody. 
Thank you, Jesus. Nobody can say no. Are you ready for Jesus to say yes to you? Nobody can say no. His presence is mighty in the house. Nobody can say no. Nobody can say no. Nobody can put you down. Nobody can be against you when Jesus says yes, hallelujah. Nobody can say no. Somebody, nobody, nobody, nobody. Nobody can say no. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Nobody can say no. Nobody, nobody, nobody. When you are in the good books of my Lord Jesus, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Nobody, 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 nobody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Nobody can say no. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Nobody can say no. Libra de Gadayaba. Majantalios. Nobody can say no. Ladrele Mantalio Kobadi. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Nobody can say no. Almighty God, you are good. I don't know if you know that song. You are kind. Hallelujah. You will deliver me from every danger. Almighty God, Daddy, you are good. You are good, Daddy. You are kind. You are kind. You will save my life from every danger. Almighty God, Papa, you are good. Adonai, Daddy, you are kind. Ancient of days, you will deliver me from all dangers. Almighty God, you are good. You are good, Daddy. You are kind. You are kind, Daddy. You will deliver me from every danger. Daddy God, Daddy, you are good. Oh, oh, Daddy, you are kind. Oh, yes, Papa, you will deliver me from all dangers. Almighty God, you are good. To us all, you are kind. Today, Lord, you deliver us from every agent. Agent of evil, you are good. Daddy, you will save us. You are kind. Agent of evil, you deliver us from every agent. Agent of evil, Daddy, you are good. Agent of days, Daddy, you are kind. Agent of evil, you will deliver us from every agent. Sin and unseen, you will deliver. Sin and unseen, you will save us. Sin and unseen, you will save us from every danger. Almighty God, you are good. Papa God, you are kind. Chimo, you will save us, Lord, from every danger, from every evil power, Lord, from every evil forces, Lord. Daddy, deliver us. You will save us from every danger. Adonai God, you are good. Papa Mo, you are kind. Hallelujah. You will save us from every danger. Sin and unseen, you are good. Sin and unseen, you are kind. Sin and unseen, you will save us from every danger. We need you, Lord, Daddy, you are good. We need you, Papa, you are kind. Oh, Lord, deliver us from every danger. Chimo, you are good. Chimo, you are kind. Idi Ebube. Save us, Lord, from every danger. Hallelujah, Daddy, you are good. Adonai, God, you are kind. Chimo, save us from every danger. We cry out, Lord, Daddy, you are good. Oh, Lord, Daddy, you are kind. Chimo, Daddy, save us, Lord, from every danger. Idi you are good. Ijima, you are kind. Hey, Chimo, Daddy, save us from every danger. Papa God, you are good. Papa God, you are kind. We just say, Lord, save us from every danger. Evil dangers, save us. From evil agents, save us. From powers of darkness, save us from every danger. Power of death, save us from it. 
said back, save us from me, spirit of poverty, save us from every danger. Almighty God, save us, you are good, O oh Lord, save us from spirit of poverty, from every spirit of death. Adonai, save us, you are good, Daddy God, you are kind, a hey, Papa, save us from every danger. Hallelujah, you are good, Timo, Daddy, you are kind. Oh yes, you deliver us from every danger. That's why I say, when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah, nobody can say no. If he says yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, nobody can say no, hallelujah, praise the Lord, nobody can bring you down when he lifts you up, nobody can bring you down when Jesus lifts you up, nobody can say no, praise the Lord, God. nobody can say no, wipe away your tears, sister, nobody can say no, wipe away your tears, brother, Nobody can say no, wipe away your tears, man of God. Nobody can say no, when Jesus lifts you up, nobody can say no, hallelujah, hallelujah. Nobody, 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 hallelujah, nobody, 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 hallelujah. Nobody can say no, oh she baba, nobody can say no. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. You are the Lord. Mm -hmm. That is your name. Mm -hmm. You will never share your glory with anybody. You will never share your glory with anybody, Daddy, Almighty God. Papa, that is your name, ancient of the you are Jehovah, Ekene Diligi, praise the Lord. You will never share your glory with anybody. You will never share your glory with a graven image, Papa, Almighty God. Daddy, that is your name, oh. Jehovah Nisi, Daddy, that is your name. You are the soon coming king. Adonai, that is your name. Matiki Bomota. You are Jehovah. Oh, glory to your name, Daddy. You will never share your glory with anyone, Daddy. You will never share your glory with a graven image. You are the Almighty God, and that is your name. Jehovah Nisi, and that is your name, El Shaddai God, and that is your name, Jehovah Jireh, and that is your name, hallelujah to you, O oh God, that is your name, I am that I am, that is your name, sing with me, say you are the Lord. That is your name, Daddy. You will never share your glory with anybody. You will never share your glory with anybody, Papa, Almighty God. Daddy, that is your name. Hallelujah, Almighty God. Daddy, that is your name. Praise the Lord, Almighty God. Hallelujah, that is your name. I take it again. You are Jehovah. What can come to you, Daddy? You you will never share your glory with anyone, Adonai. You will never share your glory with the grave in me, Papa Almighty God. Daddy, that is your name. Oh, yes, Almighty God. Papa, that is your name. Oh, yes, soon coming, King. Oh, yes, that is your name. Hallelujah, Almighty God. Papa, that is your name. Praise the Lord, soon coming, King. Hallelujah. That is your name. El Maluti, El Maluti, I soak you 
I soak your comment. I soak anything and everything God will be using to draw this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. Evangelist and I soak anything, everything. I soak anything, everything God will be using to do on this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Come and take your place, O Lord, on this holy mountain. Come and take your place, O Lord God Almighty, in our lives. Come and take daddy, come and take your place, O oh Lord God, in our lives, daddy. Come and take your place. Can I you say with me? Come and take your place, O oh Lord, lift up your voice and say, Come and take your praise, rock of ages, O oh Lord, in my life, daddy. Come and take, come and take your place, O oh Lord God, in my life, O oh Lord. Come and take your place. Somebody say, come, come and take your place. Oh Lord, lift up your voice and say, come, come and take your place. Rock of ages, oh Lord, in our lives. Come and take, come and take your place, O oh Lord God, in our lives, O oh Lord. Come and take your place, El Shaddai, in our lives. Come and take, come and take your place, O oh Lord God, in our lives. Come and take your place. I take it again. Come and take your place, O oh Lord, yeah. Come and take your place, thou shalt die, O oh Lord God, in our lives. Come and take, come and take your place, O oh Lord God, in our lives. Come and take your place, hallelujah, in our lives. Come and take, daddy, come and take your place, Lord, in our lives, daddy. Come and take your place, daddy, in the lives of your people today. Come and take, daddy, take your place, O oh Lord God, in our lives. Come and take your place. Wipe away all tears in our lives, Daddy. Come and take my God. Come and take your place, Lord, in our lives. Come and take your place. Somebody lift up your voice and say, in my marriage come and take your place. Oh Lord, somebody lift up your voice and say, in my business come and take your place. Oh Lord, somebody say with me, tell him, come and take, come and take your place. Rock of ages, oh Lord, say with me, Lord, come and take Come and take your place, El Shaddai. Say with me now, Eve, in my life, oh Lord. Come and take, come and take your place, oh Lord God, in our lives, Daddy. Come and take your place. Are you worried about, about your son? Say with me, come and take your place. Oh Lord, are you worried about your daughter? Hand over. Just say, come and take your place. Oh Lord, oh God, in my life, daddy. Come and take, come and take your place. Oh Lord God, in my life. Come
บานทียอบลีอุยสกินอาลาสดาดีกอบานทีกอบานทีคิอบลีสูลอดกอดอินาลาสกอบานทียอบลีเอลชาดายกอดกอบานทียอบลีสูลอด Lift up your voice and sing. Come and take your place, Rock of Ages, O oh Lord, in in my life, Daddy, come and take, Daddy, come and take your place, Lord, in in my life, Daddy, come and take your place. Say with me now, say in in my life, O oh Lord. Come and take, come and take your place, El Shaddai. In in my life, O oh Lord, come and take your place. Are you with me, man of God, man of God? I soak anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. I soak anyone, everyone. I soak everyone, anyone. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Anyone, everyone, under the sound of my voice, putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer, putting in prayer, prayer, prayer. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. For this that you have done. E something P E something P for this that you have done, God who see in the secret openly reward you in the name of Jesus Christ for that which you have done to show support to show that you are part of what God is doing on this holy mountain. May God who see in the secret continue to honor and to lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. I soak anything, everything that God is doing in you, through you, on this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. As you share the broadcast, as you share the broadcast, as you are putting in prayer, prayer, as you're standing in the gap for somebody, I soak your comment. I soak anything, everything with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone and everyone under the sound of my voice. Putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer, singing along with the apostle. I soak it with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. Pandanelli end. I soak it pandanelli end. I soak it with the powerful blood of Jesus. Pandanelli and I soak it with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am enjoying the worship. Please join me. Let's worship God a little bit more. Please let's worship Him a little bit more. I'm ushering. I'm ushering in the power of God. I'm ushering in the presence of God. I'm just ushering God into our lives. I'm ushering God into your life, into my life. I'm ushering God into your life, into my life. We're ushering God into our life like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Come and take your place. Oh, Lord, I do not. Come, come and take your place, rock of ages, O oh Lord, in my life, Daddy. Come and take, Daddy, come and take your place, El Shaddai, in my life. Come and take your place, Adonai God, in my life, El Shaddai. Come and take, come and take your place, O Rock of Ages, in my life. Come and take your place. Sing with me, man of God, say, come and take, come and take your place, O Lord Adonai, come. Come and take, come and take your place. Rock of ages, praise the Lord in my life. Come and take, Daddy. Come and take your place. Rock of ages in my life. So come and take 
your place in my life, Lord, in my life. Come and take, come and take your place, El Shaddai, in my life. Come and take your place. Somebody say, we give you all the glory. Somebody join me and say, we give you all honor. Who else will you worship? We give you all of the glory, Lord. We give you honor. Join me, worship him. Say, we give you all the glory. Join me, say, we, we give you honor. Join me and tell him that we give you all of the glory, El Shaddai, we give you honor. Somebody say, receive, Lord God, all the glory. Daddy God, receive, oh Lord God, honor. El Shaddai, receive, receive all the glory, Lord, receive honor. Lift up your voice, say, receive, receive all the glory, Lord God, receive honor we give you daddy we give you all of that glory say with me my we give you honor say with me say we give you all of the glory else i die we give you honor hallelujah daddy we give you all of the glory praise the lord we give you honor that don't like god we give you all of the glory, Lord, we give you honor. Praise the Lord, we give you all of the glory. Adonai, we give you all of the honor. Daddy God, we give you all of the glory. El Shaddai, we give you honor. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For your mercy, for your faithfulness, O oh Lord God, thank you, my Lord. For your kindness, for your provision, O oh Lord God, thank you, Adonai. For your healing, for all the testimonies, we say thank you, Adonai God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God. Thank you, thank you for your goodness, O oh Lord God. Thank you, my God. We are thanking you for all your kindness to us. Thank you, Adonai God, for answering prayers, for being there for us. We say, Lord, thank you, our Lord. We are saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God. This year has ended successfully. We say, thank you, O Lord God. Thank you, our Lord. We say it has ended by faith. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you, our God, for everything you've done, for everything you will be to us. Thank you, our God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God. Thank you, thank you for your provision, Lord. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, thank you for your kindness, Adonai. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, thank you for your love, O oh Lord God. Thank you, Yahweh. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. We are saying you deserve the glory, O oh Lord God. 
Thank you, our God. We are saying there's none like unto you, Yahweh. Thank you, Papa God. We roll before your mercy true. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, our God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God. Somebody join me and say thank you, Jesus. I don't know how you feel today, but I sense that we have ended this year successfully. I sense that God has ended the year for you and for me successfully. Root O, I soak your comment. I soak anything and everything God will be doing in you and through you on this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. Root O, I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. Anything, everything God will be doing in you, through you, as you share the broadcast, as you release yourself to be used by God, speaking in tongues, great things will start to happen as you plead the blood of Jesus, as the Holy Spirit take control, take over, as you stand in capacity, anyone, everyone, as you stand in capacity, may God who see in the secret openly reward you. Everybody, please ensure that your bottle of water is not far away. Today we are praying with a bottle of water. That's mine. Hallelujah. And I know it's going to be a great day in the presence of God. I told somebody before this broadcast started that I've been missing, I've been missing a particular man of God and a particular woman of God. And I thank God that the Holy Spirit is bringing to this mountain men and women of God that can pray prevailing prayers. Prevailing prayers. Hallelujah. Prevailing prayer. It's time for us to pray wherever you may be. Start to cover yourself with the blood. Please cover yourself with the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself, upon your loved ones, upon anyone, everyone related to you by blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Please cover yourself with the blood. Plead the blood. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. Today, the Lord is going to do that which Him alone can do. That's why we appeal to you. It's an appeal. We appeal to you to allow the Holy Spirit to use you today to share this broadcast. We appeal to you, allow the Holy Spirit to use you to share this broadcast. And may one more soul in the name of Jesus Christ. That's all we are saying. May one more soul understand the word receive the power of the word in another dimension hallelujah the atmosphere has changed the atmosphere has changed the power of god has filled everywhere plead the blood plead the blood plead the blood somebody tap the word frustration Frustration will be the portion of every agent of darkness. Every agent of darkness. Every evil agent. Frustration. You want to type the word frustration? Somebody decree, declare. We are not appealing, we are decreeing. We are not appealing, we are declaring. We are saying it and it will be so. We are saying it, it will be so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Man, deke barinos. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Man of God, woman of God. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. La kata, zaka de bali, ibran delimo, de kali, libakatali, man dalimo, decree, declare, ma shantalimo, decree, declare, ma grayan dali, izaka dalabos, vere ketelio. You will see that language in Psalms chapter 2, verse 7. What I'm saying, decree and declare. Those two words, you'll find it in Psalm chapter 2, verse 7. Open to, open to Psalms chapter 2, verse 7. You see there that the word of God commanded myself and you to decree and to declare. There are two different things. When you decree, you don't hear what has been existing before that time. When you decree, you do, the opinion of people do not matter. When you decree, it shows that it shows that it is more than it is more than law. Decree will swallow law. Laws are put in place by voting. Decree cannot be revoked. Decree cannot be revoked. 
law can be changed law can be revoked but a decree stands that's the difference and most times military people put decree when military people or a king they put decree but the democratically elected people they don't do decree they do laws they have to vote it in that's the two different things so when you decree and you declare most of the people politically that enter democratically they declare they declare the law that's what they do then people will vote for the law to come in but when it is decree it stand is it's above the law you cannot amend it it stands because you are associated with god because you have the blood of jesus backing you because you have the power of the holy spirit because of you have the name jesus you will decree that i will not die but live to declare the law the glory of the law of god now there are laws about death but when you decree in jesus name it doesn't matter what the demons are thinking it doesn't matter what the enemies are planning decree swallows everything somebody decree declares somebody declare decree in the name of jesus christ psalms chapter 2 verse 7 you see there it says i will declare the decree see it i will declare the decree the lord has said unto me thou art my son this day have i begotten thee verse 8 says ask verse 8 says ask me ask of me and i will give unto thee ask of me anything today we are asking and we are saying we are decreeing that i will not die see you will not die i will not die you will not bury me i will not bury you i will not hear any bad news you will not hear any bad news decree in the name of jesus christ frustration the frustration upon any agent of darkness yes frustration frustration is their portion any agent of darkness any power of darkness any form of evil agenda frustration is upon that evil agenda join me to decree join me to declare it's not an appeal it's not an appeal we don't need to vote it into law that is the law of god yes that is the word of god and we are seconding we are just seconding it we are decreeing and declaring by fire by force we are decreeing and declaring by fire by force put in prayer put in prayer prayer man of god woman of god put in prayer put in prayer frustration will be the portion of every evil agent every agent of evil frustration will be their portion uh, every evil agent every agent of evil frustration will be their portion every man any form of every form of utalie kadali every form of agent of darkness you are experiencing your family is experiencing your business is experiencing your children whatever evil agent agenda they are experiencing whatever evil agenda of the of the enemy your husband your wife your spouse is experiencing holy ghost fire holy ghost fire mashakata libra any form of every form of any form of agenda any form of agenda today i'll be showing you from the word of god how evil agents they keep putting up agenda upon agenda when they come with this agenda the lord knocks it away they come up with another agenda the lord knocks it away they come with another agenda any form of every form of agenda against you against your home against your loved ones against family members against your business against your your tomorrow the will of god the purpose of god the word of god every agenda in the name of jesus christ holy ghost holy ghost scatter holy ghost destroy holy ghost scatter destroy put in prayer please put in prayer prayer man of god 
Put in prayer, please. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. La gaya da la gaba. Ma shantali muskayaba. Endele keteli. Uzagaba. Job chapter 5 verse 12. Job chapter 5 verse 12. Oh Lord. Frustration. Bring frustration upon every devices of the enemy. Every devices of the evil agenda of the enemy. Every devices bring frustration upon the devices of the evil agent. Evil agent. Jakata la bagayada la gaba. Marketebosi. In Jeleke Job chapter 5, verse 12. He says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. We are saying, Lord, release frustration upon every devices of the evil agent. Frustration upon the devices of the evil agent. And let them not be able to achieve their enterprise. Whatever they are planning to achieve, oh Lord, they will not be able to achieve it in our life. They will not be able to achieve it in the life of our loved ones. They will not be able to achieve it in the life of anyone, everyone related to us by blood. Are you praying? Man of God, are you praying? Are you praying? Are you decreeing and declaring? Are you decreeing and declaring? Something is happening in the spirit realm. Are you decreeing and declaring? Oh Lord, take over. Take control. Oh Lord, take control. Take over. Oh Lord, take over. Take control. Oh Lord, take over. Take control. Take control. Take over. Oh Lord, take over. Any form of every form of devices of the enemy. We are continuing from where we stopped yesterday. We are continuing from where we stopped yesterday. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Man of God. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is here. Hallelujah. The power of God is here. <coughs> in 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 28, 29, you see the plan of that woman, that evil agent came to pass. She was able to establish her wickedness. There are a lot of people who are planning mischief and wickedness. Then there are some other people, they are not just wicked. It's a spirit inside of them, using them or, or trying to, you know, walk through them in the life of a child of God. That's why you have to pray. Hey, oh Lord, every agent, may they not see our break light. Are you with me, man of God? Are you with me, woman of God? Any and every agent of darkness, may they not see your break light. May they not see your break light. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they not see your break light. Any and every evil agent. Any and every evil agent. May they not see your break Oh God, 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 Every attempt, somebody type the word attempts, attempts. Every attempt of the agent of darkness in your life, in my life, in the life of our loved ones for this year, years to come. Every attempt will meet with what failure. Every attempt will meet with frustration. Every attempt of the enemy against you, against me, against our loved ones, somebody type the word attempt. Every attempt of the enemy, oh Lord, frustrate their tokens. Yes, Lord, frustrate Ikara la Dayagaba. Frustrate their tokens. Lord, frustrate their tokens. Shandara Katalimos. Oh Zagaba e Talimosikaba. Frustrate the tokens of the enemy, of the evil agent. Every agenda. Every attempt, Lord, let their attempt meet with what frustration. I'm talking to somebody and I know 
the Lord is sending very clearly, is sending out signals in the name of Jesus Christ. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Mara daya dalagaba. O zaga batalio. O zaga batalio. O zaga batalio. O ragaba. For straight. We are very specific and deliberate in our actions. Yes, we are specific. Every attempt, because I'll be showing you different attempts of an evil agent propelled by an evil spirit. When they fail the first one, they don't give up. They try another strategy. When they fail, they try another strategy. Every attempt of the enemy consigning your life, consigning your loved one, consigning your business, consigning your career, every attempt of the enemy, Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Holy Ghost fire scatter destroy. Any and every attempt. Any and every evil attempt, Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Any attempt, every attempt, yes, every move, some call it moves, any and every moves of the enemy, Holy Ghost fire for straight, Holy Ghost fire for straight. I soak you, I soak you, Josephine Fatimata L. Josephine Fatimata L. I soak your prayer mandate, I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. I soak your entire household and anything God will be doing in you, through you, on this holy mountain, in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me and say, Lord, honor me. I will soon show you all these prayer mandates. I will be showing you with scriptures. Let's pray by faith first. Let's pray by faith. Hallelujah. Let's pray by faith. Somebody join me say, Lord, honor me. Honor me. Break protocol. Honor me. Honor me, break protocol. Honor me in an unusual way. Honor me in an unusual way. Hallelujah. Honor me in an unusual way. Look at an evil agent trying to exterminate, trying to terminate, trying to eliminate David. But the Lord honored David. His own son, his own son came and made covenant with David. What an honor. What an honor. The father wants him dead. But the son that is meant to take over from the father, and the father thinks he's fighting for his son. But the son says, I know that God is with you, and you are the next king. The son came and submitted to David. Somebody, I want you to understand. When we say, Lord, honor me. This year, honor me. In the year, years to come, honor me in an unusual way. Honor me in an unusual pattern. Honor me to the glory and honor of your name. Honor me in a way that everybody will know it's God doing it. Can you imagine? Saul is planning to kill David so that his own son can succeed him when he dies. But his own son got angry, left, and then went and submitted to David. Not just submitting to David, he made a covenant with David that he will never go against what God is planning. I prophesy to the life of somebody. My God honor you this, this way, this year and years to come. The Lord honor you in an, when I say this way, I mean in an unusual way. God honor you this way, I mean in an unusual way. Breaking protocol. How could this happen? It can only be God. May God break protocol for your sake. Honor you in a way that everybody will be shouting it can only be God. May God lift you up this year. May God lift you up this year in such a way that everybody will say it can only be God. Oh yes. Oh yes, man of God. Oh yes. I say may God honor you in the way that everybody will say it can only be God. 
May God honor you in a way that everyone will say it can only be God. I say may God honor you in an unusual way. In an unusual way. That was what God did for David. That was what God did in the life of David. God honored him in an unusual way. In an unusual way. I soak you, Esther Melinda. I soak you, Esther Melinda, with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. Anything and everything God will be using to do on this holy mountain, I soak with the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. Mirila L, I soak your comment. I soak anything and everything God will be using to do on this holy mountain. Mirila L, I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Anyone that will be praying with the apostle, even watching the recorded version, anyone and everyone, may God who sees the secret, openly reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Please put in prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Alpha Omega. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Somebody type again, Frustration upon evil agents. Frustration upon evil agents assigned to your life, to my life, to the life of our loved one. Frustration upon every evil agent. Every evil agent assigned against the will of God in your life and my life. Frustration. Yes. Frustration. Frustration. I will soon show you. Don't be in a hurry. I will show you from the scriptures. I will show you from the scriptures. And I know you will, in fact, this year, you will live to fulfill the numbers of your days. It's not subject to debate. You will live to fulfill the numbers of your days. Yourself, your husband, your wife, your children, you will live to fulfill the numbers of your days. Because that is the plan and the purpose of God for you that no one can do anything about in the name of Jesus Christ, God punish the devil. Somebody type punish, punish, punish. God punish the devil. Somebody type punish, punish, punish. Holy Ghost, fire, power. Holy Ghost, power, fire. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Woman of God, E.O. is song. Woman of God, E.O. is song. I soak your comment. I soak any and everything God will be using to do on this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody remember, type the word frustration upon every evil agent. Frustration upon every evil agent. And... Anything they are planning for you, for me, back to sender. It cannot stay. It cannot stand. Every of the attempts will be equal to, it will equal failure. Every of the attempts on you, on me, on us. Every of the attempt on you, on me, on us, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, scatter. Holy Spirit, destroy. Any and every attempt of the enemy on you, on me, on our loved ones, on our children, business, career work, Holy Ghost fire back to sender. All their attempts, not one left out. All the, their attempts. All their attempts on you and on me. All their attempts on you and on me. Holy Ghost fire. We have three more minutes to pray. Three more minutes. You know I'm checking time. Three more minutes. Pray in tongues if you can. Pray in understanding. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ for anyone, everyone who probably you have not you are not yet able to speak in tongues. The blood of Jesus can still deliver. Yes, the blood of Jesus can deliver very accurately unto you, unto me. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost fire. 
three more minutes izalaga dalagaba three more minutes metelie kadalios manga dalagabos jantali mosika ibare ketelie la braketelimo oragaba dalios kaya jakete mantali jakete mantali rabba baba dalios aketelie idele bantali mosika ba in the name of jesus christ Mazaga da la gaba, endele e bantalimosi, e brale katalimo o zakaba, endele ke telimos kayaba, mandale mashantalimos kayaba tali, mandali katalimos kaba, o ragababa, matoso kaba, in the name of Jesus Christ. Naga gaga gaga ga, la brakatosi kaba, o dali katalimosa, endele ke telimo o bali mantalimosi kaba, o zaga da la O bareke paro zikatali. Manga gaga gaga delie badabo sakaya dalie. Rabba ke telimo sikaba. Mantoso zaga ya dalagaba. Rabba talimo. Rabba ke telimo si. Ije ke telimandali. Ije ke telimandali. Mandrele ban talimo sikaba. Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Are you with me man of God? Make sure you are praying. We should have about one more minute to go. And then we'll be able to start looking at scri scriptures. We start looking at scriptures powerfully. We start looking at scriptures. Man, de kalie barosi. Ladre makatali. O zagaba etalimoso. Zagaba etalimoso kayaba. Lendrele keteli kayanda lios. Lendele keteli kayanda lios. Maga yada lagaba. Rebatele mantalios. Ibare ke telimoso kaba. Make sure you're putting in prayer, putting prayer, prayer. Man of God, woman of God, putting prayer, prayer, prayer. La gade ka telimoso kaba. La gade ka telimo. La gade ka telimoso kaba antali. La gade ka telimo. O zaba ba 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 ba. La gaya da la gaba. Me trele ba lima telios kaya. Le breke telimo o sabakete. Le breke telimo o sabakete. Manga da la gaya da la gaba. Manda la gaya da la gaba. E shante pralioska. Endrele ke bantalimo. O zaga de ma ke telimo si kaya bantalimo. De ma ke telimo si kaya bantalimo. O raba o santalimo. O zaka talios kaya. O raba bantalimo su kaba. O zaga ba delie. In the name of Jesus Christ. Manga gaga gaga gaga. E le drele mo si kaba. E drele ma talio. E drele bantali mo si kaba. Ma tali mo si kaba tali. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Jesus. Manga yada la gaba. Ma shantalios. O zagaba delie. Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Holy Spirit take control take over. Holy Spirit take over take control. Holy Ghost take control take over. Holy Ghost take over take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody decree. Declare. Declare the decree. Or decree and declare. Hallelujah. Decree. That you shall not die, but live to declare the glory of God. Decree that you shall not die, but live to declare the glory of God. Okay, somebody, Isaiah 59, verse 19. Very quickly. Isaiah 59, verse 19. Are you there, man of God? Are you there, woman of God? Isaiah 59, verse 19. We want to use it to decree and to declare. We want to use it to declare the decree. We want to use it to decree and to declare. We want to use it to declare the decree. Isaiah 59, verse 19. Isaiah 59, verse 19. Isaiah 59, verse 19. Praise God. He said, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. They will fear the glory of the Lord from the west and the rising and, from, and his glory from the rising of the sun. Hallelujah. Okay. So when he says, they will fear the glory of the Lord from the west and fear his glory from the rising of the sun, it simply means they will fear the glory of God in your life, in my life, from the east to the west. That's what it means. From the east to the west, the kind of glory God will give to you will bring fear in the hearts of people. Somebody, you remember I said God should honor, we should pray that God honor me. We were praying some few minutes ago. We said, oh Lord, honor me. Oh Lord, honor me. That's what we're saying. Okay, we say, Lord, honor me. So we are going to pray. We're saying, Lord, the kind of honor you are giving me, the honor you are going to give me, oh Lord, 
The Lord kind of honor you give up to me. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The kind of honor you are going to give me, Lord. Let it be the type that will bring. Look at the way the Bible puts it in Isaiah 59, verse, verse 19. Let it bring fear. Let it bring fear in the hearts of people. Remember that some of these people too will be agents of evil. Evil agents. Let it bring fear in the hearts of people. The kind of honor. Are you ready for that prayer? Not just any kind of honor. We're not saying, God, honor me, honor me. This kind of honor, which translates into the glory of God. Let it bring fear in the heart of people. Let it make people fear God on your behalf. Let it make people fear God. When they see you, they will have the fear of God. Somebody can we start to pray? Mashan de le kabos. O zagadali mosi. Te libare. Karala ebrantalios. Karala da ebrantalios. Masha ke telebo. <clears throat> oh Lord, the kind of glory you are wearing me. You will wear this holy mountain. The kind of glory you will give us very soon. Let it be the time that will bring fear in the heart of people. When, by the time they start to see what God is doing on the holy mountain, the number of participants, the number of how God is saving lives, the number of uh, no testimonies, let fear of God come on people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ma shantalios kaya. Re ketelimo. Bale ketelimo sikaba. Re ba ketelimo. O zagadala. That kind of response, when they see, they will have the fear of God. That kind of lifting up that will make people panic. I'm using the mountain as, I'm praying for the mountain, which is me and you. And I'm praying also for myself, so you pray for yourself. We are praying and we are saying Isaiah 59 verse, verse 19. <coughs> Remember, we did not hammer on this A part of that Isaiah 59 verse 19. The kind of promotion God will give you this year. The kind of testimony God will put in your mouth this year. The kind of expansion God will bring into your life and your family. Let it be the time that will put fear. You put fear of God in the heart of people, including the evil agents. Including the evil agents. KDR2S, I soak your comment. I soak any comment, every comment that God will be using to do on this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reshantere balikatali. Reshantere balikatali. O zagaba e barimos. O zagaba e barimos. Lidaleke telimoso. Lidaleke telimosikaba. On dari bareke libradalius, on dali braleke libradalius, o zagaba baba baba, o zagadalagaba, rebantalimo o sake libra, o saliba, libra ke telimo o zandali katali, o gaga 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 gaga, o gaga gaga le bakete mantosi, le bakete mantosi, in dali ke telimo sukaba, rabanteli e kadalimo. O rabba endrele ke telimo sikaya batali. E zen telimo sukaba endali katali. O zagaba e talimo sukayaba. In the name of Jesus Christ, put in prayer. Please put in prayer, prayer. Yes, put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Ndagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. So from the east to the west, from the north to the south, what God will be doing in your life will bring fear in the hearts of as many as possible. What God will be doing in your life, Mark, Ndekedeleus, O Sakayandalie, O Ragaba Etalimosi, what God will be doing in your life, man of God, what God will be doing in your life, man of God, will bring fear. It will bring fear in the lives of anyone and everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody make sure you're decreeing, make sure you're declaring. Spirit of death will be afraid of the way God is manifesting in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Test, I soak you text, test D. Test D. Malagadaba. Ezeketelio. O Zagaban Talimosikaba. Man de Kalios. O Zabaketelio Sakete. Indrele Ketelimosukaba. O Lagaba. O Zaketelimosikaba. Test D. Test D. I soak your comment. I soak anything, everything God is using to do on this holy mountain. I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, I can see some... If, maybe, if you need to watch the videos before this video to understand what we are doing. You need to watch. It's, 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 this, is part, this is part two. This is part three. Yesterday was part two of this topic. If you are just coming in, you will misunderstand the prayer point entirely. We are not praying against a human being enemy or a human being that you are just keeping malice with. That's not the enemy we are talking about. We are talking about enemy and we give Bible example. Enemy possessed by the spirit, by evil spirit to want to kill, to destroy. So please just take it easy. Watch and read the scriptures. Understand what we are saying. We are not talking about enemy beside you living in your house. No, we are not talking about such enemies. We are not talking about people you are keeping malice with. No, not at all. We are talking about sworn enemies ready to terminate destiny. And not just enemy human being of wickedness. That's not enemy of just having wickedness. We are talking about enemy propelled by an evil force. By an evil spirit. It is only God that can even fight such battles. It's beyond me and you. Such enemies, there's nothing you can do if you don't have the Holy Spirit. Because they are spiritually charged. You understand? This enemy you are talking about, they are spiritually charged. Physically, you can't do them anything. Except you have the Spirit of God inside of you. In fact, Jesus said, this time does not go except by fasting and praying. So it's not just, you can't even approach them carnally. They have this power. They are well um, um, empowered. They are empowered. They are, they've been lightened up. There is a light of energy they are carrying or weight of energy. Physical person cannot come there. Those are the kind of prayer we are praying. That's what we are looking at from the scripture. Okay, we have given examples from the scripture and we will go ahead to still give when the time comes. We are coming there very soon. So just keep watching. Be patient. Be patient. At the end of the day, feel free to criticize. If you want to criticize, that's fine. But you see, the word of God, nobody can criticize it. The word of God is absolute. But don't be quick to criticize. Just keep listening. Go on. In the name of God. We are praying one prayer. And the prayer we are praying now is from Isaiah 59 verse 19. A. A. The glory or the honor God is bringing into your life. May it be such that it will leave the agent of darkness or the evil agent. It will leave them with the fear of God. You know when they plan the first strategy and it didn't work. They plan another strategy it didn't work. For example, if they poison something and give to somebody and you drink it and nothing happened. Why would they not fear your God? That's the kind of prayer we are praying. If they plan that at so 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 point, so so person should be ambushed and killed, and the person did not pass there at all, is so much that the king of Syria was wondering who is going to leak the secret to the king of king of Israel. Why are, why is he not passing that place? We set a trap to to destroy him there because God was revealing the re revelation. There is the honor God was putting upon the king of Israel. Okay, the Lord was revealing it, and so the. The king of Syria was frustrated. 
the king of Syria was frustrated that how come that all our ambush against the king could not be a reality? For those who were not in that particular broadcast and video, I give you the place to check 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 8 to 23. 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 8 to 23. So we are talking about this kind of enemy. We are saying that God honor us in a way that they will be afraid of you. They will know that you, this person is serving God in, in spirit and in truth. They will know that this one is serving God for real. Honor us in a way that they will know we are serving you, not fake, but in real. That's what we are praying. And we are using Isaiah 59, verse 19 to pray that prayer. Hallelujah. Nagayadalagaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honor us. Somebody pray for your son. Instead of getting angry with that son, getting angry with that daughter, getting angry with that husband, getting angry with your wife, getting angry with a family member, getting angry with your neighbor, you can pray this prayer that God honor this person. Honor this person. Such that that power will not be able to penetrate. That evil thought will not be able to penetrate. Honor us. In a way that they will know that we are serving you in spirit and in truth. That's all we need to pray. We are saying, God, come and take your honor. This, come and take your place. Come and do what you alone can do. Adonai. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? In Second Kings, Second Kings chapter 6 from verse 8 to 23. The king of Syria planned and planned and planned, but once it never came to pass in the life of the king of Israel because of Elisha. I am praying, somebody, because of you, may your family be saved. Because of this prayer you're praying, may your family be preserved. May your community be preserved. May that business you're into be preserved because of this prayer, because of you. May God use you to show somebody that it is good to serve God. May God use you to propagate that it is blessed to starve, serve God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. May God use you. May God use me. May God use us to serve God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. As we serve him, may he honor you, honor me. And as he's honoring us, may the enemy know that God is God. That's all. God will use you to teach principalities and powers that he is God. That is it. God will use you. God will use me. He will use us to teach principalities and powers that he is God. Blessed be the name of God. Come to 1 Samuel chapter 16. That's where we are going now. 1 Samuel chapter 16. Please take your time to read 1 Samuel chapter 16 from verse what? From verse 11 to 14. 1 Samuel chapter 16 from verse what? 11 from verse 11 all the way to 14. It's very important we read it. Later on, study it. Praise God. Study it because we'll be doing some extract. In fact, study it. We'll be doing so much extract from these particular scriptures. Let me give for those who would like to type it out for us. So the one we're focusing, I'll just be extracting the prayer points. Okay. So First Samuel chapter 16. First Samuel 16 from verse 11 to 14. First Samuel 16 from verse 11 to 14. And then again, we are going to see verse 23 to 20, from verse 21 to 23. Verse 21 to 23. Praise God. We are going to be looking at 1 Samuel chapter 16, 11 to 14. That's what we did yesterday for those of for people who were not around, where the Lord said that nobody will sit down until they fetch David. Now, in that 1 Samuel chapter 16, from verse 11 to 14, God honored David. And the honor that God gave to David, the, Samuel poured the oil on David's head. God is going to anoint somebody afresh today. Amen. And immediately, the Bible said in verse 14, that immediately the Spirit of God came upon Samuel, that the Spirit of God departed from Saul. So obviously, as the Spirit of God departed from Saul, an evil spirit entered him. So now there are two sets of people. One is David with the Spirit of God on him, and another is Saul with an evil spirit. Again, then the evil spirit started to manifest in the life of Saul in a very funny way. So there you will see that in First Samuel chapter 16 from verse 21 to 23. 
when the evil spirit manifested in the life of Saul, Saul sent for David. Immediately David came and started to play songs. So David was not singing. I'm just, I've taught several times in this broadcast that you can cast out demon from the grace of God that God has given to you. Not only prayer can take out demons, but whatever you are doing must be in Jesus' name and it must be another form is speaking in tongues or pleading the blood of Jesus Christ. Once these three is in place, the place becomes uncomfortable for demonic forces or evil agents. And that is the enemy we are talking about. That's why I told somebody, listen first before you criticize or you say, make any comment so that you'll be making the right comments. So we are not talking about human beings, we are talking about evil forces. And this kind of evil force has come into Saul. So look at it. We are just using this as an example. That if evil spirit can come into Saul, that is how evil spirit come into people. So sometimes the, those people that you are looking at, they are not the one really fighting you. It's a spirit inside of them that is beyond them. And that's because they were not ready to embrace the laws of God. So that left that vacuum. And so that spirit came in. Jesus talked about this spirit also in Luke chapter 11 from verse 24. 24, 25. Jesus talked about it. This same thing happening to Saul here. Jesus acknowledged in Luke chapter 11, 24, 25, 26. He said that when an evil spirit is casted out, sometime when it goes out, later it will look for a place to stay and not finding it will come back to check where it was. Before Saul, before Saul was the king, there were some attitude it was displaying that showed that it was not normal, it cannot be the spirit of God. But the spirit of God came on Saul. But Saul did not maintain that spirit. And now the spirit of God is living according to 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse, verse 14. As the spirit is living, then an evil spirit came in. Hallelujah. Follow me very chronologically. Now when that evil spirit came in, remember David is carrying the spirit of God from 1 Samuel chapter 1 Samuel 16 verse 13. The spirit of God came on Samuel. So whenever David, um, the spirit of God from Samuel came on David. Sorry about that. The spirit of God came from Sam, um, came on David as Samuel anointed David. Now, as David came into the atmosphere, immediately David came in. The demons, as he started worshiping God, because God gave him the power to sing. Some of you have the power to sing. Some have power to pray. Some have the power to speak in tongues. Some have the power to quote the scripture. Whatever grace God has given to you, as long as you're doing it in Jesus' name, in spirit and in truth, with the backing of the Holy Spirit, pleading the blood of Jesus Christ, demons cannot stay. So David was only singing. But all the demons could not find comfort. So Bible said that the demon left Saul whenever David was played and, they, and Saul was refreshed. Hallelujah. But immediately David leaves again that spirit because of the things that Saul is doing. The demon comes back again. That you will get the last line of what? First Samuel chapter 16 verse 23. The last line you will see there. The evil spirit departed from him because of David. Somebody I'm prophesying. Because of the spirit of God that is upon, upon you. Because of the sacrifices that you are ready to do. Because of the kind of prayer you are ready to be praying. I am decreeing upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ by virtue of the kind of grace of God that is on you. Because of you, may demonic forces not find comfort in your community. May demonic forces not find comfort in your line of business. May demonic forces not find comfort in your, in your family. Yes, these are the evil agents we are talking about. They have to be uncomfortable because of the glory of God that comes upon you. The glory of God came upon David. He put fear in the demon that was possessing Saul, the demon had to leave. Somebody put it in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. By virtue of the presence of God that you carry, by virtue of the grace of God that you carry, may every evil forces from the east to the west, north to the south, find your environment, find where your family is, where you are standing, find your business that you are one of the, uh, your business that you are involved in, your career work, wherever you are standing, may demons not find comfort. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power. Because of the grace of God that you carry. Isaiah 59 verse 19. Because of the glory of God that is upon you. May fear come upon those agents of, of darkness. Those evil spirits. Those enemies. Let them run for their life. Because of the grace of God that you carry. Ragadalagaba. Ma shantalima ebali katalio. 
because of the grace that you carry ibaraga yadanagaba ibaraga yadanagaba osaka tosi ijantere bantalimo negreke telimo sukaba manga dalaga yadanagaba manga dalaga yadanagaba in the name in the name of jesus christ holy spirit take control take over holy spirit take over take control in the name of jesus christ first samuel chapter 18 first samuel chapter 18 from verse 11 to 22 1 Samuel 18 from verse 11 to 22. 1 Samuel chapter 18 from verse what? From verse 11 to 22. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the first attempt. So this is the very first attempt of the spirit possessing Saul trying to eliminate David. This is the first attempt ever on his life. He attempted to destroy David. He threw the javelin to, to hit David and peg him to the wall twice. He tried the first one, it did not work. He threw the second one, it did not work. I mean, if the first one was a mistake, you couldn't expect him to do a second one. I want to prophesy into the life of somebody. Every attempt of the evil agent every attempt of the evil forces evil spirit against your life against the life of your loved ones every attempt holy ghost fire holy ghost power every attempt should meet with isaiah 59 verse 19 b remember we read a the glory of god that is coming upon will put fear in the hearts of the evil forces but the B part, it said the Holy Spirit will lift up a standard against the enemy. Can you see it? It says that the Holy Spirit will lift up and his glory from the right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. Can you see the B part? When the enemy shall come in like a flood. It threw the first javelin. It threw the second one. Can you imagine? When the enemy will come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. Lifting up a standard against it is part of the glory of God. Lifting up a standard against it is part of the glory of God. Saul is a trained soldier. So he, he did not do it to scare David. He meant to kill David. And I'm going to read three, two more attacks that will make you know that I will read all the strategies of Saul so that you know that Saul was ready to kill David. Not really Saul, but the spirit in Saul. There was a spirit that wanted David dead by all means. And there are such spirits against you and me. Those are our, en they are our, our enemies. And the Lord will lift up a standard against them. The Lord fight against them. The Lord arrest them. This is beyond just jealousy. This is beyond, beyond gossiping. This is beyond just looking at somebody and, and kissing the teeth. This is beyond that. This is them attempting to eliminate so that you don't fulfill destiny. So that you don't fulfill God's purpose. I don't fulfill. Attempts were made on his life. First Samuel chapter 18 verse 11. That's why I told somebody, wait and listen that our focus is not even on human beings, but human beings that have been empowered. I mean human beings that have exponential strength, exponential power. Human beings that have been infiltrated by evil spirits. Human beings that have been bogged. Human beings that have been bogged by the evil spirits those are the people we are talking about we are saying lord show those spirits that we are serving you since we are not having that kind of spirit we have the holy spirit show and that's why isaiah 59 verse 19 b says and i quote when the enemy you see it i'm not saying enemy flesh and blood this is enemy and bible is saying it you can see it in your bible so we are not teaching god's people to look for enemy or to cause enemy this is not a normal enemy this is like the enemy here in first samuel chapter 18 verse 11 
two attempts on the life of David against the world. But I have shown you in Isaiah, in First Samuel 16, verse 14, that an evil spirit came into him. That evil spirit started the first attempt two chapters after First Samuel chapter 18, but failed. I prophesy into your life. I release a decree. Every attempt of the enemy in your life, every attempt of the evil agents in your life to exterminate, to terminate, to destroy, to kill. Ah, every John 10, 10, Jesus talked about it. The enemy has come to, but to kill, to, to kill, to steal, to destroy. But he said, I am come that he may have life and have it more abundantly. Every attempt to kill, to steal, to destroy. John 10, 10. In your life, in my life. As we can see here in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11. Holy Spirit lift up a standard against that enemy. Can you pray? Can you put it in prayer? Holy Spirit, lift up a standard against such enemy. Lift up a standard against such enemy. Such enemy of our progress, enemy of our future, enemy of our destiny, enemy of the plans and purpose of God for our life. When they come in like a flood, look at look at the way he threw javelin. He threw the javelin. The javelin came with speed, but the Lord protected David. He threw the second time. Oh Lord, when he come in like a flood, suddenly you know floods take place suddenly and it destroys things. That's why Bible liken it to the flood. He said, when the enemy will come in like a flood, unexpectedly. When the enemy will come in unexpected, people who have accident, it happens unexpectedly. They are not, they are not aware. They are not ready for that accident. It comes in like a flood. I want you to understand that English from the Bible. It comes in like a flood. Every unexpected tragedy, every unexpected attack, Holy Ghost fire lift up a standard against it. People that get their house burnt while they are sleeping or whether they are awake all of a sudden fire breaks out and burns the whole house they are not they are, it's, it's, it comes in like a flood it comes in unexpectedly holy spirit take over take control can i have somebody type holy spirit take over take control when they come in like a flood when the powers of enemy when the enemy comes in like a flood that evil agent when it comes in Oh Lord, lift up a standard. Oh Lord, lift up a standard. Oh Lord, lift up a standard. In your life, you know, I told you from the beginning of the broadcast that you will not die. But live to declare the glory of God. I will not die, but live to declare the glory of God. I will not bury you, not bury me. But the enemies will make a time against our life. When they come in like a flood, somebody pray. Spirit of God, lift up a standard. Holy Ghost, fire. Look at John 10, 10 he said the thief comes not but to what? To steal, to kill, to destroy. The thief comes. Bible called this same evil agent a thief. This kind of enemy we are talking about, Bible call it thief. Thief, the spirit of death is a thief. It's coming to steal life away. Yes, accident is coming to kill, to steal, to destroy. Sickness is coming to kill, to steal, to destroy. Oh Lord, lift up a standard against Maragayadalagaba. Lift up a standard against Ishantere Balatoso. Oh Sabake Telimo. When they come in like a flood, when they come in like a flood. Two attempts was made by Saul against the life of David. And in these two attempts, the Lord showed himself powerful. Bible said that, that David avoided, David avoided the, the David avoided the javelin twice. May the Lord help you to avoid that place the enemy has planted evil. That place where the enemy has planted evil against you, your family, may the Lord help you to avoid it. Some of us, if only we avoided to visit somebody. If only we avoided to visit somebody, a lot of things would be would have been averted by now. But the law will still make a way of escape for you. If only we averted that visit. If only we averted visit, there will not be need for certain things that followed the visit. You know, sometimes when opposite gender visit themselves, sometimes you know when some when some evilly possessed people visit some other people, especially when they visit sometimes. Uh -huh. So we are saying that some visits, if only the Lord made it not possible, a lot of things would have been avoided. May the Lord grant you the grace to avoid. We said that it's not every food you are going to eat. We said that it's not every gift you are going to uh, you are going to collect. We said that it's not every every place you will go to. 
okay it's not everybody you associate there are some people you need to avoid some gifts you need to avoid some money you need to avoid yes some things we need to avoid oh lord help us to avoid bible stated clearly bible stated clearly in first samuel chapter 18 verse 11 that david avoid uh, david avoided avoided the javelin twice whatever is the is the weapon of the enemy in your life may the lord give you wisdom to avoid some men if only they avoided some question and action of their spouse some women if only they avoided some question and action of their spouse that home will still be harmonious some parents if only they, they avoided certain things certain question if they have avoided certain things they are, the family will still be together but the lord will bring a remedy in jesus name but we are saying lord teach us to avoid there are certain things we don't need to avoid we need to avoid praise god we need to avoid there was this um, particular viral uh, video that was going on you know someone sent to me a man was inside his car a man was inside his car in a particular place uh, country and then as he was driving out of a normal estate that particular estate someone threw egg someone threw egg someone threw egg raw egg on his whiskey so what he did immediately they threw the egg on his whiskey he avoided doing anything he just drove on and then when he got to a place of safety he decided to make that viral video and then he was advising and 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 just encouraging people that when things like this happen avoid to stop avoid to come out and avoid to use your wiper you see, he mentioned three things that needs to be avoided. He said, avoid to stop and come out. That's one. Avoid, avoid to, uh, avoid to stop. Just continue the journey. Avoid using the wiper to wipe off the screen. Because once you wipe, that means you'll not be able to see clearly. That's how the enemy has planned that strategy. So then, they cannot come in and do their evil. But you see, I'm using the word avoid. He was saying that people should avoid stopping out from the car in such a place. Avoid trying to use your wiper to wipe off that egg, that egg um, remnant that is on the screen. Because that will make the whole screen blurred. Hallelujah. Some of that method he was also saying is that sometimes you're driving, somebody will deliberately come and hit the car in the, around that location. They'll come and hit the car from the back. Boom! So that you will come out and then you'll be angry. You'll be wondering, why should you drive like that and come out? That kind of a place, he mentioned the place and location. He said, once you come, they just want to get your attention to come down. But if you avoid coming down, you avoid a lot of things. And then he told the, the wife to, to bring the camera closer to the egg that is broken on the screen. And then that was it. But I love that the Holy Spirit brought back that viral video. For me to explain the word avoid there are certain things once you avoid your life is spared once you avoid certain things can be avoided certain things will be avoided once you can avoid all oh lord teach us those things to avoid sometimes just bible say he that keep it his tongue keep it his life there are some people they've lost their life because they could not keep their tongue they could not avoid but talk Oh Lord, Magayadal. So the Holy Spirit lifting up a standard against the enemy is you keeping quiet. That's how the Holy, Holy Spirit will lift up a standard. I just want to bring out a side that most pastors might not talk about. Do you know that by you being quiet sometimes, that can mean Isaiah 59 verse 19b. That can be God lifting up a standard against the enemy. Even sometimes you see some of them who say, talk now, talk now, talk now. Say something, say something. The demon is ready to activate the demon is ready to, to carry out their enterprise. But you're not saying anything frustrates their token. Oh Lord, teach us to avoid. Somebody put it in prayer. Teach our children to avoid. Some, some of the association our children are getting themselves involved in. Just avoiding that association will help a lot of things. Just avoiding that association will help a lot of things. Oh Lord, teach us to avoid. Teach us to avoid. Teach us to avoid. David was able to avoid. David was able to avoid. 
Oh, Zagaba, Etalimo Sikaba. David avoided the javelin twice. I prophesy that the spirit of death will not see you. The spirit of grave will not see you. Evil forces and powers will not see you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bible said that because of this, because of the way God was with David. Now somebody seeing this, look at if you read this scripture, hello, are you with me? If you read this scripture, you would think that the love or respect or fear. Saul did what he did because of several reasons. Look at verse 13 of 1 Samuel. Please see. You see another attempt or strategy. I want to show you. The enemy, for you to know that it's a spirit walking in Saul. And later on, I will show you where Saul confessed what he was trying to do to David. He wanted David dead so that his son can be the king when he's when he dies he wanted david out of the way that evil spirit used that as a bait in his life okay look at first samuel chapter 18 look at first samuel chapter 18 verse 13 verse 13 he said therefore saul removed him from him and made him his captain over a thousand he removed him from him and made him a captain or over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. Let me explain this part. Remember that Saul went to the father of David and pleaded because of the way David carried the anointing. Because whenever David played, then the demons used to leave Saul. So Saul went to the father of David and said, please allow David to be my armored bearer. Let him be with me. So when he attempted to kill David twice and he was not successful because David escaped, then he brought another plan. You'll be seeing this as promotion. It's not promotion. It's not promotion. He's looking for a place where David will be vulnerable. He now made him a captain over what? Over um, a thousand. That is, he made him captain over ten, over a thousand. A thousand. That is one thousand. He made him captain over them. Because he noticed that his effort did not yield result. He made David captain over a thousand. Praise God. Praise God. I'm looking for something I want to show somebody very quickly. I'm looking for something very quickly I want to show you. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit said it is okay. Okay, it's okay. Holy, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, I'll tell you verbally, but I'll give you the scriptures. I want you to quickly, you, you need to look in between the lines to notice the plan of the, of the enemy that I'm going to share with you now. Bible made me to understand as, we, as I read on and studied this chapter. Saul said, and I quote, he said, he's making him the captain of a thousand so that the enemies, the Philistines, can get David. You see, he has tried two times to kill David. He did not succeed. So he made him captain over a thousand so that the Philistines will be the one to kill David. That is his plan. Okay, you see, thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow, Holy Spirit, you're wonderful. Thank you for making me to see that verse 21. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Wow, what a wonderful thing. You will see that in First Kings chapter 18, verse 21. Holy Spirit just showed it to me now. You see it in verse verse 21. You see it in verse 21. You see there in the last line, it said, and Saul said, I will give um, the last line. You see the B part. The Philistine may be against him. That is the plan. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, it's not only the Philistine to be against him, oh, Again, he planned that he will give his daughter. He will give his daughter to marry David. So that the daughter, you see that also in the same verse 21. So that number one, he said the daughter will be a snare unto David. It will be a snare unto David. And then again, the Philistines also can be against David. But he has put David in a vulnerable place as a captain. I want you to see that the, the evil agent... They never relent. They keep modifying their plans and their attacks. 
They keep modifying their plans and attacks. Okay? He promised to give his daughter to David so that the daughter can be a snare unto David. And then the hands of the Philistines can, be, can come upon him. You are going to pray, Oh Lord, frustrate the tokens of the enemy. First attempt did not work. Look at another attempt. He did not even stop there. He made another attempt. So as he's using his javelin to want to kill David, the same time he's making other plans to eliminate David. He's using other plans. I've just shown you to eliminate David. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 21, you see very clearly. He's making attempts by all means to bring down David. We are going to pray. Every devices of the enemy, every devices of the evil agent, every devices, Lord, let frustration come upon it. You see why we are praying this prayer today. We're not just talking about enemies, human enemy around the corner. We're talking about enemies that the, the, the enemies that will never stop. Enemies that are exponentially empowered by demons. Exponentially empowered by demons. Those are the kind of enemies we are talking about. May the Lord save you. May the Lord save me. May the Lord save us from such enemies. Thank you for putting that scripture into the house so that people can peruse. In the name of may God save us from such enemies. Look at his plan. Somebody will say, Oh, because the way David and um, they um, dodged the jav javelin that he wants to promote David, it was not promotion, he was putting David in the place of vulner uh, vulnerability. Who is that person under the sound of my voice? Are you in the place of vulnerability? May God honor you in that place that the fear of God will come upon the likes of Saul. Are you in the place of vulnerability? Are you in a place of vulnerability? The enemy has calculated that that place you must come down. That place you must, that's everything finishes at that point. May the Lord honor you in that position in so much that fear will come upon the likes of Saul. The likes of Saul. The kind of enemy that is exponentially empowered by demons. Some human beings, they are raised to a power. And that power is demonic power. But we too, we are raised to a power. But our power is the power of the Holy Spirit. We are raised to the power of God Almighty. We are raised to the power of the Holy Spirit. Everyone that is having that exponential tendency of evil forces. Oh Lord, honor us that fear will come upon them. Honor us in such a way that the fear of God. Are you praying? Are you praying? We are decreeing. We are decreeing and we are declaring the decree. That is it. We are decreeing. We are speaking in line with the word of God. I, I promised that I was going to show you in the word of God. So you will see it for yourself. Somebody, please, we need to pray with First Kings chapter 18, verse 22. Somebody type the word Apostle Fire. Let me know I have your permission. Let me have your uh, permission. Three, we need three Apostle Fire, then I will share First Kings chapter 18, verse 22. Some of us need to pray this prayer in our life. See another strategy. In fact, all the scripture I'm giving to you, you will see the strategy of the power, the exponential power in Saul wanting to terminate, eliminate, to destroy the destiny of David. Three apostle fire and I'm ready to share with, with the house. Zagadalagaba. Three apostle fire and I'm ready to share with the house. First Samuel chapter 18 verse 22. I told you take time Take your time and see what God wants to reveal to us on this holy mountain today. Ma kayandali e baros o zagaba en talimosika izale ban talimosika batali. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see first apostle fire. I see three apostle fire. Okay, come, come and see something. Look at what Saul said in First Samuel chapter eighteen verse twenty-two. And Saul commanded his servant. Are you with me? I'm going to pause this music. I want you to hear this. You need to hear this very clearly. Listen, it says, And Saul commanded his servant, saying, Commune with David secretly. Say, Behold, the king had delight in thee. 
The king had delight in thee, and all his servants loved thee. Now, therefore, be the king's son-in-law. You see, can you imagine? Be the king's son-in-law. The king loves you. It's another strategy. It's another strategy. He already said he's going to give his daughter so that the daughter will be a snare unto him. And then the fact that he has put, put him as captain over a thousand so that the Philistines also can watch out for him whenever they go to war. Imagine that. We are going to pray. Oh Lord, every evil and every evil fake love, fake love, every fake love, every devices of the enemy, every agenda to terminate your destiny in our life. Holy Ghost fire scatter. Somebody pray. I pray for every of your children. I pray for your son. I pray for your daughter. I pray for every marriage under the sound of my voice. Every plan of the enemy to frustrate that marriage. Every plan of the enemy to thwart God's glory in that marriage. Holy Ghost fire lift up a standard. The glory of God coming upon you. Any enemy that wants to thwart that glory, the Spirit of the Lord lift up a standard. The Lord grant you the grace to avoid what you need to avoid. The Lord grant you the grace. This is happening in Isaiah 18 verse 22. Isaiah 18 verse 22. You can see. He says, go and commune with him. As in try and convince him. Try and make him believe that the king delights in him. The king loves him. And that all the servants, all my servants love him also. You see, the enemy is putting a trap. He has already said he will put his daughter as a snare. Everyone that is carrying one snare or the other, whether in relationship or in your business, any snare, the Lord remove every snare in the name of Jesus. The Lord rip off every snare that you're carrying. Every setback, everything that is acting like setback in your life, everything that is acting like a weight in your life, everything that is drawing you back, anything that is drawing you back, drawing your family back, Anything that the enemy is using as a snare, to draw you back, to set you back, the Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power, destroy every plan of the enemy in your life. In Jesus' name, may the Lord take away any snare and every snare, any snare and every snare that you're carrying. Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power, fire. Then the enemy. The enemy in Saul made another second attempt. The enemy in Saul made another attempt at David. First Samuel chapter 19. Remember that in chapter 18 verse 11, he attempted to kill him twice with the javelin. If you think that was an error, he now planned again that he would give him the daughter to be a snare to him. He will also make him to be in charge of um, a thousand soldiers so that he will be in a position of vulnerability now he sends his servant to go and lie to him that the king loves him and all his servant loves him so that he will bring him over and immediately David is coming with an innocent mind look at David coming in chapter 19 then Saul in verse 10 Saul again carried the javelin and threw against David hoping to kill him again. This time is the third time he's throwing against David. The two attempts were made in the first attempt. This is a second attempt but this is the third time he's throwing the javelin at David. And Bible said that he slipped away out of, the, out of Saul's presence. He slipped away out of Saul's presence. He smote the javelin into the wall. And David flee and escape that night. Somebody, you will escape every plan of the enemy against you. Your husband will escape every plan of the enemy against them this year. Your children will escape every plan of the enemy against them. You must surely escape in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wear you with the glory. He wears you with his glory. May the Lord make a way of escape for you. That financial embarrassment, may you escape escape that financial embarrassment that marital embarrassment may you escape in the name of jesus christ that that accommodation embarrassment may the lord make you to escape that spirit of infirmity that illness that sickness may you escape they say nobody has ever escaped this disease you will escape in jesus name are you praying are you praying after lying after lying after convincing the servant to go and lie and call 
commune with David. Immediately David is, is coming, he tried to kill him again. That shows you the kind of enemy that is inside Saul, fighting against the spirit of God that is in David. Remember, it is the evil spirit in Saul that was trying to overcome the spirit of God in David. But that spirit did not overcome. And so I prophesy into your life, man of God. I prophesy into your life, man of God. That evil spirit out there that is fighting the spirit of God inside of you. That is fighting the spirit of God in your marriage. That is fighting the spirit of God in your children. That is fighting the spirit of God in your business. That is fighting the spirit of God in your financial life. That is fighting the spirit of God in your body which is your temple trying to bring sickness into your body will not succeed you will escape you will escape shame you will escape death you will escape setback you will escape all the evil plans of the enemy you will escape all the attempts of the exponential power in the life of your enemy against you that evil spirit bible said that david slipped away may you slip away from the spirit of death may you slip away from the spirit of accident may you slip away from the poverty any plan of the enemy that have that have caused any form of you know a roadblock. Remember yesterday we were talking about rebellious spirits. We are talking about in demonic rebellious spirit. We are talking about um, evil spirits that ha that are that are planning a, a form of re rebellious evil spirits. You know, demonic evil spirits. Every evil spirit causing roadblock. We were talking about in the last broadcast. I'm seeing the Holy Spirit making you to escape. You will slip away. You would you would have passed before they make their roadblock. You would have passed before they come to kill, steal, and destroy, according to John 10. 10. You would have passed, or you will not even be in that area. The Lord shield you. The Lord shield you in the name, in the name of Jesus. I say, God shield you from every evil plan of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mashanda Lagaba. The soul did not stop there. Look at the wife. You know, the first person that he promised he was going to marry, David. He gave that daughter out. But David fell in love with another daughters of uh, another daughter of Saul now this daughter of Saul he thought Saul was thinking that this daughter would be a snare unto David but you see Michelle here instead of being a snare unto David now became someone that God could use to save the life of David in first Samuel chapter 19 first Samuel chapter 19 his daughter was the one telling David he said listen if you don't escape and save your life, my father is planning to kill you tonight. My father is planning to kill you tonight. He says so to watch, make sure you watch him because he is planning mischief against your life tonight. The same daughter that he thought would be a snare to David now became the reason for which David's life was spared again. And in verse 12, Bible said that that the daughter made David to escape from the window. What the enemy intend to bring you down, may God use it to lift you up. What the enemy is planning this year, the remaining part of this year, to embarrass you, to be a snare on you, may God use it to become a platform to lift you up. May God use it to be a platform to release you into a bigger and a brighter breakthrough. Somebody type the word bigger and brighter. May the Lord use that same thing to make you to enter into a bigger and a brighter breakthrough. What the enemy is trying to use as a snare in your life, as a thing of setback, as a thing of, you know, a backwardness. May God use that same thing to as, a, as something that will bring bigger and brighter breakthrough in your life. A bigger and a brighter breakthrough. May God use it. Mashantaleya. O Zagaba. Look at this same girl in First Samuel chapter 19, verse 12. Made David, gave him the information and helped him to escape the evil exponential power in the life of his father. The God can use anybody. Your God can use anything. Oh God, deliver your church. I see you at the end of this year smiling. I see you at the end of this year sharing testimony. I see you at the end of this year saying God is good. 
every plan of the enemy for you and me as we go towards the end of the year to twat, to destroy, to shame. I see God using it to lift us up. The Lord used that same girl, the girl that he thought would be a snare. There is nothing God cannot do. What is giving you headache? What is giving you sleepless night? What is giving you serious pressure? May the Lord use it to give you pleasure. May the Lord use it to give you pleasure. May the Lord use it to give you inspiration. What is giving you headache? May God use it to give you inspiration. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is giving you high blood pressure? May God use that thing giving you pressure to give you pleasure. God changed what would have been a sour case in the life of David to a case of honor. The girl made David to escape. You will escape in Jesus' name. You will escape all the snare of the fowler. You will escape as the bird escaped the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus Christ. Guess what? Guess what? When David escaped in verse 14, in verse 14, when Saul sent his messenger to take David so that they can kill him, they can kill David. The daughter said David is sick. The daughter told the messenger, David is sick. When David went through the window, she went and put something on the bed. You know, it's not today all these things started. Can you imagine that such thing exists in the Bible? When you read 1 Samuel chapter 19, when you read 1 Samuel chapter 19, verse 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, when you come down to 16, 17, you will see that the daughter Michelle went and put something and put something as if it was David that was there. Saul insisted that they should go and, and come and bring David by all means. And when they came, they found out that he has de she deceived them. In verse 17, Saul was very angry with the daughter. Verse 17, he was angry with the daughter. Why do you deceive me? Why do you do this? You Now, you couldn't even tell me that he has escaped. You couldn't tell me that he has escaped. Why did you deceive me? Praise God. He could not imagine that only spirit can walk through any and every body. The doctor made him to escape, pretended and fo folded something on the bed as if it was David lying down. But it was not David. David had escaped. And this got him so angry. Praise God. Somebody are going to pray. Every plan of the enemy for me, for my family, for our children, for anybody on this holy mountain. Oh Lord, frustrate the tokens of the enemy. Frustrate the devices of the enemy. Let them not be able to achieve their enterprise. He did not achieve his enterprise in 1 Samuel chapter 18. Look at him putting several mischief together again in 1 Samuel chapter 19 and still did not achieve any. He did not achieve any. Saul did not stop. Saul continued again in 1 Samuel chapter 20. Saul continued again in 1 Samuel chapter 20. Again, Saul attempted his plans again in the life of David to kill David, yet he did not achieve his enterprise. You are going to pray. As many times as the enemy is planning against my life, against God's purpose in my life, as many times as he's planning, may the enemy fail as many times as they are planning. Somebody put in prayer, are you praying? 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 O Rabba and Trelemos Kayadali, Ibareke Telemosikaba, a gentle in first Samuel chapter twenty from verse twenty nine to thirty five. First Samuel chapter twenty from verse twenty nine to thirty five. First Samuel chapter twenty from verse twenty nine from verse twenty nine to thirty five. Now look at Isaiah fifty five, Isaiah fifty nine, verse nineteen a. Look at it. God has honored. David with the girl that the father thought would be a snare on him. 
God used the same girl to honor David. As if that is not enough. Now, God now used his only son, the son of Saul, to honor David. In 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 30, Saul was angry with his son Jonathan. Saul was angry with his son Jonathan because his son Jonathan will not collaborate with him to eliminate or to kill David. Saul was angry. The anger of Saul was kindled against Jonathan and he actually called his son, the, the, he called, he said the son of the perverse, rebellious woman. That's what he called his son. The son of the perverse, rebellious woman. Verse 30, 1 Samuel chapter 20. He was so angry that Jonathan cannot see what he is trying to do for him. Do not I do, he said, do not I know that thou hast chosen the son of Jesse to thy own confusion? Don't I know? You think I don't know that you have decided in your mind that David will be your king? Are you not over your confusion? Can't you see that when I'm dead, you'll be the next king? Jonathan did not agree. Rather, guess what? Jonathan escaped. And went to meet Saul. Uh, to, and went to meet David. And when he went to meet David, guess what Jonathan did? Jonathan made a vow. Jonathan made a vow. Because the father was planning again how he will kill David. In verse 33. In verse 30, he got angry with the son. That he wants to kill David. And the son will not cooperate or collaborate with him. In verse 33, he actually threw the javelin again. Now this makes the fourth time he's throwing the javelin. The first time he threw the javelin in first in first Samuel 18, he threw it twice. He threw the javelin again in first Samuel chapter 19, verse 11. He threw it once. Now again in first Samuel chapter 20, verse 33, he threw the javelin again, making the fourth time. Four times. Saul tried to kill David, and those four times, none was fruitful. I prophesied to the life of somebody. Every time the enemy tries to kill, steal, and destroy in your life, in the life of your son, your children, your daughter, your spouse, your family, your community, as many times as he tries, the power of God will frustrate the enemy as Saul was frustrated. Somebody make sure you're praying with me. Make sure you're praying with me. The Lord frustrated the enemy as he frustrated Saul. Four times Saul tried to kill, to kill David. And those four times, he was never successful. The plans of the enemy will never be successful in your life. It will never. As many times, whether they come in the dream, or they come physically, or they come whichever means, whether they poison food, whether they do anything, they carry part of your clothes to go and use to do rituals, or to go and do charms, so that something will transfer, or so that you will not fulfill God's purpose, they will meet with frustration. Every evil altar, every evil altar, every evil gathering, every evil gathering, summon up for your sake. Holy Ghost fire sky. Holy Ghost fire scatter destroy. Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire scatter destroy. Any evil plan, every evil plan. Mare gaya dalagaba o sande e baroska ne ketelie gadalios o ragaba baba. Any and every evil plan, any and every evil plot of the enemy against my life, against your life, against our life. Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Are you with me, man of God? Men delege delebos. Men delege delege deliosi kaya o zagaba baba. Baba O Talie Catalimo, O Talie Catalios, O Talie Catalimo, O Talie Catalios, O Zandere Bantalimo Sicaba, O Zandere Bantalimo Sicaba. Jonathan went, Jonathan got angry with the father, he left. He left and rather went and submitted himself to David and made a covenant with David. Ah, the Lord frustrates all the tokens of the enemy. When we talk about God frustrating the tokens of the enemy, some of us don't understand. Some of us don't understand. That is very deep. You see, there was a meeting point that David already agreed with Jonathan that they would meet. 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 35. 1 Samuel 20 verse 35. Jonathan went to that place and immediately Jonathan got there. Jonathan submitted to David. I see all the plans of the enemy not working in your life. And I see you. I see the powers of darkness submitting to the power of God that is inside of you. Somebody put in prayer. 
Make sure you're putting in prayer, prayer. I say, I see the power of darkness submitting to the spirit of God that is inside of you. I see the powers of darkness. Everyone that has come onto this holy mountain, whether you have come with one illness, one sickness, I see that sickness submitting to the anointing. I see you getting healed. I see that sickness submitting to the anointing of God. I see God set you free. I see God set you free. I see God elevate you. I see God liberating you. I see God making his will and purpose established in your life. I see God expanding you. I see God expanding you magaya dalagaba ezekete librados o zanteremo o talimo sikaba o zagagagagaga la gedele gedele mo o barekete limo sikaba Saul could not believe Saul could not believe that the daughter that he thought would be a snare to David was not a snare to him even his son that he is fighting for became one with David I soak I soak your prayer mandate and Mary Williams I soak your prayer mandate I soak anything everything God is using to do on this holy mountain I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ blood of Jesus Christ blood of Jesus Christ I soak your prayer mandate root O I soak your prayer mandate root O I soak your prayer mandate root O anything everything God is using to do root O I soak with the powerful blood of Jesus blood of Jesus but blood of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit take control take over Holy Spirit take over take control Holy Spirit take control take over Holy Spirit take over take control Ibareke telios kayaba O zandanagadalagaba Holy Spirit say stop there Mashaga de balios Mashaga de balios O zantere mandalie kadali O zantere mandalie kadali O ragabababa nage barosi kayaba O ndagagagagaga nage daroko zikabatali Nare dalakato zikabatali O zake telimosi kayaba O ngagaga rabake lebrateli O Zagadelie Catalimo, O Zagadelie Catalimo, O Rage Batalimo Sukaiba, Holy Ghost Fire Power, Holy Ghost Power Fire, Holy Ghost Fire Power, Holy Ghost Power Fire. Make sure you're putting in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Please put in prayer, prayer, prayer. The power of God is here, the glory of God is here. Somebody, God is fighting your battles. I'm so excited to know that God will fight your battles and fight my battles. God will fight your battles and fight my battles in a way that no power can hinder no power can stop no power can hinder or stop god is fighting your battles every attempt of the enemy every attempt of the evil agent every attempt of the enemy that is exponentially powered by the evil spirit will equal to zero we equal to zero the lord will make a way of escape the lord will make you escape the lord will make me escape are you praying man of god pray are you praying woman of god pray are you standing in the god for your son stand are you standing in the god for your daughter stand are you standing in the god for your family stand are you standing in the god for your loved one stand are you standing in the god for for your nation stand holy ghost fire power power fire holy ghost take over take control today we are drinking this water to mean something else except this water is not created by god except this water jesus did not walk on water eh? except jesus did not walk on water as you are drinking this water you are drinking into the power of god the power of God that created heaven and earth. So that when those people that are charged with exponential powers of evil, of demonic forces, when they come, they will bow before you. When they come, they will bow before me. When they come, they will bow before our children. As you drink, you drink into the power of God. You drink into the strength of the Lord. You drink into the word of God that is ever truthful and faithful. As you are there, every power of darkness, of evil, of sickness of any kind, any type, sent to eliminate, to, to overcome the plans of God in your life, they will bow because you will heal. You're going to heal from that illness. You're going to heal from that sickness. You're going to heal from that financial embarrassment. You will heal from that accommodation embarrassment. You will heal from that marital um, bruhaha. You are going to heal from that marital crisis. You're coming out. And you'll be used by God to save other people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? We are making a toast today with this water. Yes, people make a toast. They use wine. Thank God for them. Today we are making a toast. We are using this water. And we are toasting to your success. We are toasting to you. Receiving so much of the glory of God this year. That it puts fear. 
in the life of all those who are exponentially charged by the powers of darkness, exponentially charged by Ephesians 6 verse 12. Ephesians 6 verse 12. Every one of them that are exponentially charged with Ephesians 6 verse 12 will submit to the power of God inside of you because God will show them. The glory of God inside of you will bring fear into them. We are drinking to that cause. We are drinking to that purpose in the name of Jesus Christ that you will not die but live to declare the glory of God. That the spirit of the Lord will come in and lift up a standard against them when they come in like a flood. When they come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will come in and lift up a standard against them. Some of you might be told by the Holy Spirit to sprinkle this water around your home, around your house. Some of you might be told by the Holy Spirit to put a little bit in the water to bathe with. It is just the Word of God we are hammering on. And then because this is one of what is carrying the presence of God. Bible says three things carries the presence of God. The, the One of it is water. It's in the scripture. It's water. It carries the presence of God. That's why it's supporting life. That's why you drink water to live. Yes. Air also is one of it. Hallelujah. So we are using one of it and we are contacting that power of God. Somebody may the strength of God in you be renewed. May the power of God be renewed in you as you are listening to the word and as you are submitting to the power of the Holy Spirit. As we move this toast in Jesus name, at no point in time will powers of darkness see your end. At no point in time will the soul of your life see your end. Are you listening to me? The soul of your life that you don't even know. The soul of my life that I don't even know. And the one that I know. And the one that you know will never see your end. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will never see your end. Every plot of the enemy will be frustrated. The Lord frustrates all the tokens of the enemies. I speak to somebody in the political terrain. I speak to somebody in any capacity in the business terrain. I speak to somebody that is in the career line. I speak to somebody married. I speak to somebody in relationship. And the relationship keeps on failing and failing and failing. I speak to somebody who has been struggling to make it in life. I speak to the man of God, woman of God struggling in their calling. I speak to anyone, everyone in the name of Jesus Christ that the power of God rests upon you and takes you to the next level in the name. Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, somebody plead the blood of Jesus Christ with me seven times. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Join me and say, Holy Spirit, take control, take over seven times, and then we drink. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. When God told me to be praying over water like this in 2016, because that's when we started. In 2016, 2017, people were wondering. But the testimonies after that, everybody is excited at what God is doing. And I see that some other people are doing it now. Just make sure that you're doing it according to the word of God. Make sure you're doing it in the Holy Ghost. Because that's the correct one. There is This water is from my place. It's normal water. You can take normal water. No need to pray and this and that. No, it's not. It's just water from my end. Yes, do it according to the word of God. Do it according to the principle of God. And you will see that it is not about me. It's not about you. It's about God. You will see that it will work. It is about God. It's not me. It's not you. Once the principles of God are followed according to the scripture, it works for everybody. Hallelujah. Let's drink together as we move this toast in Jesus' name. Amen. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, why people are putting in prayer, when they're putting in prayer, 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 if you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, stretch forth your hand towards me, man of God, woman of God. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I confess any sin, every sin that I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Wash me clean with the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Man of God, woman of God, say with me, any covenant, every covenant entered into consciously or unconsciously, I cancel with the powerful blood of Jesus Say, I counsel with the power of the Holy Spirit. Say, I believe Jesus died for me. He was buried for my sake. And for my sake, he was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth so I find salvation. Man of God, woman of God, are you under the sound of my voice? Say, I am born again. 
Say, I am born again. Say, I am born again and it is binding in Jesus' name. If you would like to rededicate your life unto God. Say, I rededicate, I rededicate. Say, I rededicate my life unto you, Alpha, Omega. And it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us start to pray. Hallelujah. As we start to round up, somebody talk to the Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for your word. I thank you for anyone, everyone that is sound of my voice. The great and mighty things that you're doing on this holy mountain, we ascribe all glory unto you. Anyone, everyone that is exponentially charged up by an evil force, evil spirit, seeking to kill, steal, and destroy. Anyone, everyone that is under the sound of my voice on this holy mountain, including myself, Alpha Omega, Daddy, let the Spirit of the Lord come in like a flood and lift up a standard against him. Daddy, reveal your glory. Daddy, reveal your honor. Break protocol in our life in such a way that fear will come upon the enemy. It will come upon them from the east to the west, from the north to the south. That simply means that it doesn't matter whether you're in your local country. It doesn't matter whether you travel abroad. The grace of God in your local country will be the same grace of God when you travel anywhere you go to. That's why I said from the west to the to the east. That's why I said from the west and to the to the to the rising of the sun. So it talks about any and every part. Wherever you may be, man of God, woman of God, the same grace of God that you that you are enjoying right now. Should you change position, should you relocate, the grace of God will still be the same in your life. Should you relocate, it will be the same in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, whether you are a spinster or you now get married, the same grace of God when you are a spinster will still continue with you as a married woman. Whether you are a bachelor or now a married man, the same grace of God that was upon you when you were a bachelor is still the same grace of God that will be upon you now that you are what? That you are a married man. Even if you were a, a brother and now you are now a man of God, the same grace that was on you when you were just a brother or just a sister is the same grace of God even much more will be upon you now that you are now a man of God, woman of God. The glory of God come upon the church like never before to put fear in the life of anyone, everyone that is that is an agent of evil. An evil agent. An agent that is exponentially charged up with evil spirit. Or charged up with Ephesians verse, verse 12. Now we as the church of God, we take the position of Ephesians 3, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10. So God made provision for Ephesians 6 verse 12. The provision of God for Ephesians 6 verse 12 is Ephesians 3 verse 10. To the intent that now unto principalities and powers might be known by the church, me and you, the holy mountain, the many-sided wisdom of God. May the Lord use us to prove that he is God like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command healing upon everyone who needs healing in Jesus' name. I command healing. I command restoration. I command restoration. I command total turnaround, breakthrough to anyone, everyone that is awaiting God's total turnaround and breakthrough. I release man, the carry on Zikayaba, the power of God, the mercy of God, the glory of God upon anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice. Man, that God wants to use this year to teach principalities and powers the manifold wisdom of God. This year, you will still, you must make it. You are making it this year you are not late with god you can never be late the same glory that god has planned for you this year is still coming on you the same lifting up is still coming on you the same increase is still coming on you and every attempt of the enemy over your life concerning your life over your family concerning your family every attempt of the enemy over your business concerning your business every plan of the enemy as god frustrated the plans of saul in the life of david so will God frustrate their plans in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord frustrated the tokens of the enemy, as the Lord frustrated the plans of the enemy, uh, so much that they could not achieve their enterprise. So the Lord frustrate them in your life, they cannot achieve their enterprise in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and succeed. Go and rise. Go and be who God said you'll be. Go and manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're entering the new year with testimony. You're entering the new year with dancing. You're entering the new year saying that God is faithful. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord honor you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift you up. Grant you counting. Grant you 
count his countenance the lord show you mercy the lord break protocol for your sake in the name of jesus christ not just for you for you for everyone you're standing in the gap for your household members in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ so shall it be in jesus name anyone everyone celebrating their birthday i soak you i soak your family with the blood of jesus christ many more years to celebrate in the land of the living anyone everyone god is using to promote this work anyone god is using to promote this work anyone god is using to put comments to type comments to pray along with the apostle anyone praying along with the apostle anyone subscribing to this page anyone subscribing to this page anyone pressing emoticon everyone anyone pressing emoticon anyone everyone sharing the broadcast everyone sharing the broadcast everyone doing the work of the evangelist may god who see in the secret openly reward me and you in the name of jesus christ may the lord openly reward me and you in the name of jesus christ eternity will not fail to reward us all in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ hallelujah somebody shout up in hallelujah glory 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 give god all the glory give him all the praise worship the lord worship worship the lord worship give him all the glory give him all the praise hallelujah 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 somebody want to type hallelujah somebody want to type praise the lord you want to type thank you jesus you want to put in those stars this is the time to put in the stars you want to put in those um, emoticons this is the time somebody said it can only be god hallelujah <laughs> praise god god is doing great and mighty things i'm so happy everyone on the holy mountain is spiritually sensitive everyone on the mountain is spiritually sensitive that is why everyone carrying exponential power of ephesians 6 verse 12 cannot do anything to us because we are powered by the holy spirit we are powered by the holy spirit fortified with the blood of jesus christ and armed with the name of jesus armed with the name of jesus hallelujah 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 glory 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 hallelujah we honor you we give you praise thank you jesus thank you for all the fathers thank you for all the mothers thank you for all the boys in the house thank you for all the ladies in the house the girls in the house thank you oh lord for your servants in the house thank you oh lord for everyone we give you praise we adore you we adore you be thou exalted in the name of jesus christ i've decreed amen hallelujah god bless you thank you so much for your understanding uh, by the grace of god i think we are we are 20 minutes above our usual time so i apologize for that 20 minutes my name is apostle jumbo isong and i thank god for making me a chaplain commander is by his grace honestly and we thank god for the testimonies god is giving us on this mountain we thank god for everyone the way they are growing in their spiritual life and also growing even in their day-to-day -day activities we bless god thank you for everyone that have shared the broadcast and if you have not take your time and make sure you bless somebody we're not talking about popularity we're talking about at least this message reaching another person that it will be a blessing to that person so share with somebody special share first on your wall then share in a group share first on your wall then share in the group god bless you if you needed any form of prayer if you need any form of counseling, for example, if you need any form of counseling or you needed interpretation of dreams, interpretation of dream by the leading of the Holy Spirit, please. What you want to do is leave a message for me on Facebook Messenger or you can also leave a message for me on my WhatsApp number. So the WhatsApp number you need to leave a message for me is plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four god bless you god honor you god lift you up god bless you very soon i will stop giving that number i would rather be giving the email address so that people can email or people can chat with me on messenger praise god okay so god bless you god honor you god lift you up and god make his face to shine upon you the next broadcast will be on thursday and thursday is going to be hot 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 
Thursday is going to be hot, hot, hot. We are going to be looking at Thursday from the point of the New Testament point of view. We are going to see whether all what we are talking about also can happen in the New Testament. So we'll look at it from the New Testament point of view. And I know that somebody you don't want to miss it is a deliverance service. Most times on Thursday, we talk about things that are really, really revealing. They are so deep. We need to know about it. And should the Holy Spirit permit, that's what we'll be doing. If the Holy Spirit gives something different, is the owner of the service, I must obey. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit without much ado. And I say in Jesus' name, Baruch Hashem Adonai, meaning blessed be the name of God. Permit me to sign out my usual way. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil. Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you all, but God loves each and every one of us much more. God bless you. Shalom. Bye-bye. God bless you. Don't leave the broadcast without saying thank you, Jesus. Without typing, it can only be God. Don't leave without sharing. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. Hallelujah. I'm so happy for what God is doing and your testimonies. I'm so happy. Somebody called the apostle shortly before broadcast and we were praying in tongues. I just love what the Holy Spirit is doing. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank God for the growth in the house. Thank God for what God is doing. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Bye-bye. God bless you.